were the guards who were around Jesus' tomb witnesses to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So let's recall what happened. Jesus had announced much earlier that he was to go up to Jerusalem and that there he will be arrested by the elders and priests and be condemned to death, put in the tomb, but that three days later he will rise again from the dead and that had been known to all the Jewish people, so so much so that those who had killed Jesus told themselves that to eradicate this heresy at the base which they had considered extremely dangerous because it entested the spirits. It had been necessary to post a guard around the tomb lest the apostles may come at night and make the corpse disappear in order to prolong their sect. And so they even told the Romans about their concerns, and Pilate had agreed to provide Roman guards, so there were temple guards and Roman soldiers around the tomb, certainly during the night, because they surely had considered this as ridiculous assignment, they had to sleep next to the tomb. This custody story is told in the Gospel according to St. Matthew in chapter 27, verse 62. The next day after the day of preparation, the high priests and the Pharisees gathered at Pilate's house, saying, Lord, we remember that this imposter said during his lifetime, three days later I will rise again from the dead. Therefore give the orders that the tomb be guarded until the third day, lest his disciples come and steal the, the body and say to the people, he has a raisin from the dead, the later sham will be the worse than the former. Pilate said to them, you have a guard, come on, organize surveillance as you wish. So they left and answered the monitoring of the tomb by putting seals on the stone and by placing there the guard. After the Sabbath, at the hour when the first day of the week was about the beginning, at daybreak, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary arrived in order to look in the tomb. And there had been a great earthquake. The angel of the Lord descended from heaven had come in order to roll the stone and seal it. He appeared like white lightning, and his clothes were snow white. The guards, in fear of their lives, had felt and began to tremble and became as if they were dead. While they were on their way, some of the guards went into town to tell the high priest everything that was at happening. The later, after meeting with the elders and taking counsel, the high priest gave to the soldiers a large sum of money, saying, This is what you will say. His disciples came to steal the body at night while we were sleeping. And if all this had come to the governor's ears, we will explain it to him, and we will save you all trouble. So they took the money and did as instructed, and this explanation has spread among the Jews until today. A tradition says that they saw the light and fled with all their legs in the middle of the night. So we see it is upon very little and a tradition that is not word for word verbatim in scripture that we have to reaction of these soldiers in any case it is no longer spoken of and the accusation that the disciples had removed the jesus body removed by jewish priests throughout the remaining time as we can see therefore the resurrection of christ had been a secret event which took place within the tomb, undoubtedly with powerful light that had no direct witness.